Hey guys, it's Meg. I am here this week with a new video for you. Today is going to be our standard tarot reading, so if you want to get a message from the cards, please come on in, have a seat, and we'll get started in a moment. Um, I do have a few small housekeeping things for you. Uh, number one, if you like what you see in the video, please go ahead and click the like, subscribe, and the bell buttons. That way we can uh, we can stay in touch. You can stay in the loop for when I post new work like this. Um, I have included a li I've included a list of my social media links. Uh, as um, there's a timestamp for the bonus reading because there's a bonus reading for this video, and um, I have included a list of the decks I'm using for this reading as well. So everything's going to be in. The description box. So have a look if you are interested. Also, um, I'm available for private readings. If you feel I can help you with something, if you feel safe to reach out to me, please do. I'm happy to help where I can. And also, um, I have new content coming for next month on my Patreon. So if you're interested in having a look at the free content, um, or if you're interested in signing up for a membership through my Patreon, um, you know, it's there if you're interested. Thank you for your consideration. Um, again, I'm happy to help where I can, and I hope that my work is resonant with you. So again, thank you so much. Let's get into our reading, okay? So we're going to start with some oracles and then get into our tarot. All right. Here we go. Okay, um, so to start with our Oracle energy, we're going to see Estefania, which represents chains, bondage, release, and surrender. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. We also have protection, which is asking us to call back our power, cut the cords, and um, represents the soul retrieval. Okay, there's protection. Okay, all right. We also have Messenger, which represents serious energy and bringing harmony and balance. Okay. All right, there's Messenger. Okay. And we have Bearing Fruit. Okay. Okay, so the main the main energy I'm getting here right now um, is the fact that we are being called to release and let go of things that we're not uh, we're not really uh, these things are these things are being called to let go of they're not really serving us anymore okay. Um, and we have two of the four cards that kind of bear this out because we have this surrender. Um, and also we have this protection card, part of the same, you know, cut the cords, let things go. You are safe to do that. Okay. Um, you are safe. Um, but the surrender is also necessary. Okay. Um, it's necessary because you have certain pieces of information that are coming in at this time that I think have been kind of resisted or you've held back from truly processing. Okay, um, your something suggests to me that there's been a lack of stability and balance. Um, you know, also harmony, because it, it does state this in the card. Um, but be, again, because you've, you've resisted the information coming in, um, that stability and that harmony and that balance have been a little bit shaky. And that's probably why you're hearing um, 
you're hearing the words, you know, let go, open up, it's time, okay? Um, on top of that, there has been a goal or something that you wanted to achieve in your space that is finally seeing results, okay? Because you have been putting in the work, you have been doing the most to get yourself here, okay? Again, that's probably why... Um, probably why you're being asked to let certain things go okay and it's probably why you're you're getting this resistance pointed out because things are starting to grow things are starting to come to pass but now um now it's time to i think i think the, the best takeaway i can give you from this is that you're doing the work Okay, now it's time to step back and, and do some game planning for yourself in order to continue seeing this growth. Okay, continue seeing this growth, but also release, uh, release the sense of resistance that's coming up for you. Okay, so let's get into our tarot and see what we need to see for our tarot and um, this is intended to bring yeah this is intended to bring a deeper clarity to what we've just seen in the oracle okay so we're gonna start this this is actually quite perfect we're gonna start with the seven of pentacles thank you Thank you. We're seeing seven of pentacles. <clears throat> Excuse me. We also have the knight of swords. Okay. We have the knight of swords. And we have the page of swords. Okay. So if you, if you recall, just a minute ago, I did say... That it was time to take some take some, take a minute to game plan for your next steps. This is exactly what the Seven of Pentacles means. Okay, um, this is about assessing progress. Okay, hang tight a minute here. This is about assessing progress and understanding how you've gotten yourself to the point where your projects are starting to bear fruit and you're starting to uh, to get your get the results you were looking for great perfect absolutely amazing okay now what do you need to do to take it further okay what do you need to do to continue being successful at whatever this whatever this goal is Okay, um, again, this is where stepping back and assessing progress is going to be paramount for you because, again, we talked about having this sense of resistance and this sense of discomfort. Um, what I want, what I want you to do is really think about it, okay? And I'm saying really think about it because you have two swords cards here now swords are um they're of the mind okay um you're, you're being asked to to get into get into your head a little bit um if only to figure out your next steps um but know that your ideas can take shape okay if you give yourself a chance your ideas can take shape all right um and I want you to notice that there's this dandelion here and there's all these seeds coming off of it. Those are those are little remnants of ideas of, of things that you want to put into action. OK, um, and you you've done a lot of learning. OK, you've done a lot of uh, a lot of absorbing of information. OK, and that's great. OK, that really is great. But it will be soon time to put those things into action. Excuse me. <laughs> it will be time to put those things into action eventually. Okay. And 
when we when we let go of the resistance, when we surrender the things that are holding us back, um, it'll be a good time to put our plan into action. Okay, what if, whatever your plan is, to, it, it'll be time soon to put that plan into action. Okay. Okay, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to... I'm going to keep our tarot out today, okay? Um, let's see what else we need to see, please. What else do we need to see? Okay. Alrighty. So we're going to see the magician. Perfect. See the magician. We're seeing the sun. Okay, we see the sun. Okay. And we're seeing the two of pentacles. Interesting here. So there's the two of pentacles. We also have a magician and the sun. So, you know what? Um, I think for some of you, especially if you're resonating with this message, for some of you, there hasn't been a sense of clarity about, uh, certainly about where you're going next, even though you've, you've planned yourself up to this point. Um, I think what's what's happening here is that um, for some of you, you're experiencing a little bit of a, a knock to your self-esteem, okay? Um, because a lot of things are happening, a lot of things are moving, okay? I'm saying this because we have our two of pentacles here. It feels like you're juggling just so much. So much is happening, okay? Um this is why you're being advised to step back and plan a little bit, okay? Because while I did say that you're going to have to take action on your ideas, okay, um, part of what you might need to release is maybe a little bit of this imposter syndrome or this idea that you can't do it or you don't have what it takes. My friend, let me challenge you here. Let me challenge that thought with you here. Because you have the magician, okay? This speaks to your capabilities as a person, as a creative, as someone who has gifts and gifts and abilities that nobody else has, okay? All right. Um, this is an important message to you because... I think at least this part can serve an encouragement to say, yes, you have what it takes. You have the keys to your car, so don't get in and go, okay? Get in and go with respects to what your plans are going to look like. And like, like I said, like I said also, you will, you've done the work to figure it out, okay? You're doing the work to figure it out some more okay but on top of that on top of that your ideas are going to need to be um, actioned or having action taken on them at some point okay so releasing releasing this imposter syndrome this uh, this fear about a lack of capability and this that and the other this is part of what um part of what you're trying to release, okay? Uh, okay, let's go with that. And part of what you're trying to release, yes, it's going to feel like it's a juggle and you're balancing a lot, um, but the fact of the matter is that um, we do have a card that suggests peace and harmony, okay? Um, part of what you're letting go, like I said, part of what you're letting go is to um, 
what you're letting go is is going to help you reinstate that sense of stability and that's a perfect tie-in to um that's a perfect tie-in to this uh two of pentacles here because um this two of pentacles to me suggests an element of trying to stay calm when things around you are, are nerve-wracking and wavy and, and unbalanced, okay? So I, I hope, I hope that made sense. Um, yeah, I hope that made sense. Let's move on and see what else we need to see, okay? What else do we need to see here? Okay, let's see. Okay. Okay, we're going to see the Knight of Wands. Okay, here's the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands. Okay. We have the Nine of Wands. Okay. There's the Nine of Wands. Alrighty. And we have Strength. Okay. So what what I what's really cool about this here is that there's some I think this is speaking to your level of energy and your level of passion for whatever this is that you're bearing fruit on and having to plan for having to plan the next steps for okay um, and you've you've definitely felt the fire of doing this okay. Um, because this has mattered to you. This has mattered so much. And in fact, I think for some of you, whatever this energy, whatever this pursuit is in your space, um, it's given you a lot of purpose and a lot of uh, a lot of sense of yourself. Okay. That's important. Okay. Um, because you have this Knight of Wands, you've, you've given yourself the chance to figure out how to take action. Okay how to take action on this thing, okay? You've gotten yourself up to this point, okay? And there's still some, some extra little bits and pieces that you're trying to, trying to leave behind for yourself, okay? Um, on top of that, you've gotten yourself to a place where um, you understand you understand what this has entailed for you, okay? And I'm saying that because you have this nine of wands here, this nine of wands. Um, this is something, generally, I will describe the nine of wands as having something that you're persevering through. There's a difficult task or something, um, something that has brought you a challenge that you're choosing to step up to the plate and address, okay, um, which is what, which is what I think this messenger energy, this releasing energy is calling you to do again, okay, even if it is, even if that does mean that you juggle a little bit, okay, um, you have the strength to do that. Okay, if you don't believe, if you don't believe that you have the capability, okay, and if you don't believe that you have the keys to your own car, remember this, that you are a strong, powerful person. And again, like I said, you bring the, you bring gifts and abilities to your space that nobody else does. Okay, um, and you have the power to be calm, cool, and collected while you're experiencing uh, this challenge, okay? Um, and th things are bearing fruit. Your goals are coming to fruition. It's going to take a few steps more in order to really see 
the results, okay, but you have what it takes, okay? You, truly, you do have what it takes, okay? So let's see, uh, let's see some more cards, and then we will, we will clarify um, some hidden energy underneath all of uh, all of this, okay? A few more cards. Let's see what we need to see, please. What do we need to see? Okay. So we're going to start, excuse me. <coughs> we're going to start with the King of Cups. Okay. Here's the King of Cups. Okay. start with the king of cups we have the eight of cups okay there's our eight of cups and we have the seven of swords okay okay so what, uh, what I'm seeing with this part of it is that there's been some very emotional things that have gone down uh, in the space, okay? And it's, um, these emotional things have been triggered by um, you not really seeing or knowing all of the information that you probably needed. Um, there was stuff going on behind the scenes that you should have uh, that that should have been known to you um, there's no shame or no fault there's no shame or fault in the seven and seeing the seven of swords i'm going to put that out there right now um because um this wasn't your fault you weren't doing anything to get over the people that were trying to help you Okay, because I do think you had a, a really good support system. Um, but there was something there underneath it. Maybe this was someone outside of you that was uh, trying to undermine you or trying to give you uh, give you a sense of discomfort. Okay, this could, this could be someone telling you, you don't have what it takes. You're not strong enough. You're not capable enough. You don't have what it takes, like I just said. Okay, um, this is part of the energy that you're going to need to let go of, okay? When you do, the beautiful thing here, the really beautiful thing here is that you have this Eight of Cups. You're moving on. You're moving on from this energy, okay? This sucked, this hurt, this was painful, but at least now... Now that you know the nature of this this energy, you can be you can be about the moving on process, the releasing process, and not have to fear. Not you don't have to fear the letting go because the horizon ahead of you is so much broader, and the shores are so much brighter ahead of you. Okay, um, and again, again, your goals are starting to bear fruit. Okay, now it's just a matter of releasing and letting go of what isn't serving you, okay, and knowing that all of this, all of this work, all of this time, all of this stress, because it has been stressful, all of this has allowed you to grow as an emotional and spiritual creature, being beautiful soul beautiful soul okay um there's been a lot of growth a lot of like i said emotional and spiritual growth okay and um there's a chance that the road ahead of you is going to still be a challenge and that's that's okay right but you have the equipment to you have the equipment to keep going okay yeah, you have the equipment to keep going. Okay. 
So let's uh, let's see some hidden energy. What is going on underneath the energy of this post? Why? Yeah, why, why are we saying this? What do, what do we need to know about this energy right now? Okay. So, hmm. okay, so we're going to start with our Eight of Wands. We have Eight of Wands. Okay, there's Eight of Wands. We have Temperance. Okay, we have Temperance. Okay, we have the Seven of Cups. Okay, all right, the Seven of Cups, and we have the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so right off the bat, uh, right off the bat, I want to talk about this Eight of Wands energy here. Um, Eight of Wands. You're, see, I'm going to Eight of Swords here, and that, that's a pitfall of your, with the Eight of Swords, the, there's a pitfall that you've come under, right? And it's making you feel trapped and hemmed in, and that that's what I'm feeling, that's what I'm feeling happening to you right now, but it's happening that, that feeling trapped and hemmed in is happening because things are moving along really quickly. There's something in this energy that you fear is going to move too fast for you and you just get left behind by it. Um, that might be the case, okay? That might be the case. But, but, what I want you to remember when we talked about the sun, we talked about the magician, we talked about strength. You have aspects of you that you can that you you will take forward it's not a matter of you can take it forward if you take it forward no those that isn't the case you are going to take it forward okay um i say it like that because again those things are intrinsic to you and that's that's Doing those things, <laughs> tapping into your capability and your strength and the understanding of who you are as a person is going to help you continue to do what you need to do to achieve your goal, okay? Um, but you also have, you also have temperance here, which to me, ultimately, this is a state of balance, Okay. Yeah, it's a in in yeah, it's a state of balance. So you do you do have what it takes to achieve this balance. Okay, even if things feel like they might be moving along too quickly. Okay. All right. Um again, you have what it takes to move yourself forward here. Okay, but remember that you're not alone. Okay, you have this Three of Pentacles, so there is a team of people under you, okay, and there are things that you, there are things that you and your, and your support system will do for each other that will help you move your goal along, okay, um, but this Three of Pentacles here, the support system, is also, um, it, it's also allowing you to look at the options on your table, okay? Ultimately, this is for you to decide what you pick, okay? But the beautiful part is you have a sounding board for, you have a sounding board for the, for the choices you have to make. If you need to ask for help, you can, okay? Um, Again, though, ultimately, the Seven of Cups, you have options. You have things on your table that you can choose, okay? Um, but it is, um, it is best to choose what is going to align the most with what you have. And, yeah, with, with your personal energy. Basically, what I'm trying to say there is... Uh, 
you need to you need to decide what's in alignment with your goals and who you are in order to make the best decision that you can with the seven of cups here okay okay i think i got that across that's our hidden energy let's see some clarifying energy please why are we seeing what we're seeing here how can we clarify it okay all righty so to start here, we have the Four of Wands. Okay, there's our Four of Wands. Right, Four of Wands. We have the Seven of Wands. Mm -hmm. We have the Seven of Wands. Okay. We have the Queen of Swords. Okay, there's our Queen of Swords. And we have the Chariot. Okay. Alrighty. So the, the thing that's standing out with this clarifying energy here is that there's a lot of there's a, there's a lot of clarity in this reading, and I'm, I'm not going to pick it out here because it's going to take a minute. Um, but we have the chariot coming through. And this to me says that, that, again, you have the keys to the car. You, you have the keys to the car. You are abundantly clear about where you need to go. Okay. Um, you're also aware and you've observed some deception, some pain, some some backstabbing and betrayal. Okay, I'm getting here with the Seven of Swords here. Um, there's been some people who have not had your back. Okay, you you still have a really good support system around you, but it doesn't look the same as as it did when you first brought people together. That's fine. Part of part of this releasing process is letting go of the pain of, of discovering who you couldn't trust. And that sucks. That sucks. I feel like for some of you, this is a friend breakup. And if that's the case, buddy, I got you. I'm sorry to see it. It hurts and it sucks. Um, but you've observed it and you've seen it. Okay. Um, this Queen of Swords suggests to me that you, you've got a brain in your skull. You got a brain in your skull, and even though um, even though you're feeling afraid, you're unsure. Okay, you still have you still have a really powerful energy about you. Okay, um, and that powerful energy is is allowing you to look at what you have ahead of you as as much as you can see it. You're looking. Um, yeah, you're looking ahead of you and saying, okay, here's what I got to face here. The good thing, the good thing is that you have a foundation under your feet. Okay, you got a foundation under your feet. You've got a support system with you, so you're not going it alone. I don't know if you can see that, but those two characters, they're standing on the roof. They look, they, you know, there's there's not really much in, what, much in the way of that characterization except for the figures but they're they're looking fairly triumphant okay and i do think that's that's what's ahead of you a triumph an achievement um something that you worked hard for is bearing fruit and it will continue to bear fruit um it will continue to bear fruit because you know how to get the results you want Okay, you know how to get the results you want within, um, yeah, w within the, uh, within reason. Okay, things change all the time is what I'm trying to get it to go. Um, but you, you know, even if it doesn't feel like you know how to navigate changes, you do. You definitely do. Okay. So... 
did not draw that part. That's what I was looking at here. Okay. So let's get into our bonus reading and see what else we need to see. Okay. So to start with our bonus reading, we have Enid, which represents doubt, fear, wariness, and trust. Okay. Okay, there's Enid. Okay. We have the pillar of light, which represents uh, your vibration rising and you being the oracle. Okay. Right, there's pillar of light. Okay. We also have inner earth, which says you'll survive this, um, and it represents new solutions and beginnings. Okay, so there's inner earth. Okay, all right. And we also have the divine matrix. Okay, so what I'm hearing here is that you need to trust yourself. Okay, ultimately, um, you have. And I'm going to say this, like I said, in the main reading, you have things about you that you just naturally bring to your energetic space, to your physical space. These things are unique to you and you don't, um, you don't have to fear those things not being good enough because they, they exist. They are, they're good enough as they are. Okay. Um, and by those things, I mean your abilities, your 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 sense of yourself, all of all of you, right? All of you is good enough. Okay, it's good, it's perfect. You have what it takes to continue moving forward. Okay, um, but again, we're tap. I think we're tapping back into your. You doubt yourself in some way. Okay, whatever whatever triggered the self doubt, it doesn't need to it doesn't need to stay. Okay, it doesn't need to stay, even though there's something here that makes you fear in some way that you're not good enough as you are. Okay, that's uh, that's that's a hard place to be. Okay, and I, you know you can believe my words if you want to. You guys don't have to resonate in any way. Um, but the encouragement that I want to leave you with is that I do think you have the ability to release the self doubt and the self. Um, I don't want to say self loathing, but it it, it doesn't. Um, you don't have to hold on to that. You don't have to hold on to that doubt, okay? Because you have, um, you have this expansion happening to you, okay? This energetic expansion, you're moving on from things that don't feel good, that don't make you feel happy, okay? You are finding solutions to the things that aren't serving you whether that means that you need to release those things or make changes to those things, you innately know what that looks like for you, okay? All right. And on top of that, and again, on top of that, you are supported, okay? Uh, you, you are supported because you have you have a team of, of guides, spirit angels, whatever you believe in. If that doesn't resonate with you, that's fine. Um, you are guided through, okay? You're not going, you're not making these changes alone. You're not going this journey by yourself, okay? Um, let's see 
some energy from our tarot and then we will move on from there. So our tarot cards, to start here we have the Four of Cups. Okay, there's our Four of Cups. All right. Um, we have the King of Swords. Okay, we have the King of Swords. Okay, King of Swords. We have the Ace of Cups. Okay, and we have the World. Okay, so let, let me highlight the world here, this world card here, really quickly, because there's something seeing a completion, okay? There's something that has reached its end, and it doesn't have to continue anymore. Specifically, the cards we have out now, um, I'm going to look at the Four of Cups as, as being what is in a state of completion. Okay, um, now what, I, what it, if you're interested in observing the card with me for a little bit here, what I want, what I want to highlight here is that there's this shadow over you that it isn't, it doesn't need to be there. Okay, it doesn't need to be there. Now I want, I want to acknowledge that you might be feeling something very, very deeply. Okay, that has put a shadow over you. Let's acknowledge that um, the way you are feeling is real and it is valid. Okay. Um, the the shadow of hurt and disappointment is what you're being called to release. Anything that makes you doubt yourself and your capabilities is being called to be released. Um, anything that gives you a sense of pause about whether or not your goals are achieved are being achieved needs to be released because as evidenced by the cards they are coming to pass okay and it's just a matter of tapping into tapping into your personhood and knowing that you have what it takes to continue moving forward okay um but again addressing this hurt and disappointment possibly from people who didn't have your back um all of that is calling to be released and let go of okay and it, I, it part of this letting go energy again part of this letting go energy is that you have this king of swords coming through here there's a new perspective if we haven't you know we also have the king of cups so there's been some growth and some changes is and all of those things have helped you look at your situation differently it's also helped you grow as an emotional spirit spiritual being okay um it's helped a lot with opening your mind to new ideas okay and you're finally um you're finally taking action and authority where you need to okay this is perfect this is perfect okay because you're starting uh, you're starting this part of your journey as a it's fresh it's new um, there's new opportunities especially with this emotional and spiritual growth um, but there could be things that you haven't considered coming into your space okay and it's going to mean that you have options it's going to mean that you need to game plan how you pick and choose what you go with and it's also going to mean that you you have a new road to explore okay 
So I hope that made sense. I hope that was resonant and helpful for you. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comments. Um, again, the description box uh, has my social media links, all of the decks I've used. Reading, uh, the bonus reading is timestamped in there as well. And if you want to get in touch with me outside of YouTube, please feel free to. I'm happy to help where I can. Uh, thank you for, uh, yeah, thank you for tuning in, guys. I love you lots for your support, everything that you've been able to allow me to do for you. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to call this video here. Um, until the next one, guys, stay safe. I love you lots, and I will see you very soon. Bye, everybody.